Wide release number two is Raising the Bar, sponsored by Vaughn Excavating. Raising the Bar is a chipper with a 15 minute time cap. Athlete A will perform the prescribed number of wall ball shots and burpees while Athlete B maintains a static deadlift hold. When Athlete A finishes his or her reps, Athlete B will perform a prescribed number of box jumps and burpees while Athlete A maintains a static deadlift hold. When Partner B finishes his or her reps, he or she will return to the deadlift hold while Partner A performs the prescribed number of box jumps and burpees. When Partner A finishes, he or she returns to the deadlift while Partner B performs wall balls and burpees. If the athletes have any remaining time, they perform max effort deadlifts. Your team's score will be the total number of reps completed within the 15 minutes. For the wall balls, the athlete's hips must break parallel at the bottom of the movement. The ball must touch the target on the wall at the top of the movement. A no rep will be given if the athlete does not break parallel. A no rep will also be given if the ball does not touch the wall or misses the target. If the partner holding the static deadlift hold drops the bar, any reps performed while the bar is on the ground will be no reps. For the burpees, the athlete's thighs and chest must make contact with the ground at the same time. The athlete's feet must leave the ground at the same time on the jump, and the athlete must touch his or her hands above their head. A no rep will be given if the athlete does not jump at the top of the movement. A no rep will also be given if the athlete does not touch the floor at the bottom of the movement. To be a completed rep, the athlete must have their hips and knees extended at the top of the movement. If the athlete is hunched over when they jump, they will get a no rep. On the box jump, the athlete must have full hip extension before coming off the top of the box. Both feet must touch the box. In masters and open divisions, athletes may choose to do step ups instead of box jumps. A no rep will be given if the athlete does not fully extend at the top of the box jump. If the athletes have any remaining time, they perform max effort deadlifts. For the deadlift, the athlete must touch the ground after every rep, and at the top of the rep, their shoulders must be behind the bar. A no rep will be given if the athlete does not touch the ground at the bottom of their rep. A no rep will also be given if they do not pass their shoulders behind their hips at the top of the rep.